We turned up and it looked like a normal house. When we went to the backyard, there was a big black box. And when we went in, it looked like a really good recording studio. There was lots of um, stuff and it was just a really good experience. So we recorded like one by one and you'd have to wear one headphone on and one off so you could hear yourself and you didn't go out of tune. And it took a lot of takes. So we started to do solos by ourselves, and then our producer Phil, he overlapped us and he made us do harmonies and it was amazing. It sounded so good. It I love the chorus at the start yeah. and it was just really nice and it came to life. I love how the whole school did it like, and it sounded really good. Hi, I'm Sienna. Um, I am in year 10 at Marta Maria and I was selected to sing on this Sacred Heart song which was a really fun experience. Um, we got to go out to the recording studio and that was all like really awesomely set up. I loved working with all the girls, they were all so nice. It was just a really special thing to be a part of. When I arrived at the school I realised we didn't have a school song and so I knew of someone who is an absolute legend at writing school songs and here he is, Simon Highland. Thanks Jamie. Yeah, Simon Highland, I, I work at CSBB and uh, music is a real passion of mine clearly and um, speaking of Sacred Heart, I have a very special connection with Sacred Heart. I was the, for about 12 or 13 years, I was the youth and music minister at the parish. When Jamie asked me to, you know, be involved in this, in this project, I just jumped at the chance. But I really wanted to hear from the students and from the community here to really to sort of bring these, um, I suppose, this song to life. So we sort of did a little bit of um, feedback, didn't we? How did that happen? Yeah, and look, it's, um, Sacred Heart is very much a school of the community and so we wanted to make sure that the community's ideas and reflections were part of the process. And so we surveyed uh, students and parents and, uh, and teachers and asked for their feedback about what Sacred Heart meant to them. And then all we had to do was hand all of this information over to Simon and that's when the magic happens. <laughs> well, it's, it was great. I was, it was, um, actually, I started with the, that idea of the um, our heart is where, you know, our home's where the heart is and then our heart is our home. So that, that sort of lyric was the first thing that kind of sat and I really just thought about the, what is the heart of our community and, and really that, that specialness of um, the community here at Sacred Heart and, and Jesus being at the, the centre. And so yeah, heart and home and so that's where it started. And then, and then really from there I built out some of that feedback, we looked at the school values and we brought that in. Um, but interestingly, uh, I, I really wanted something that was kind of contemporary and kind of upbeat. So um, I worked with a, a great music producer in, in Phil, um, uh, Phil and Kettle. And yeah, he's worked with me on, on the World Youth Day song. Um, and I said to him, I think the brief needs to be like Church Bruno. Um, so Bruno Mars, so we want a nice upbeat uh, kind of sound. And then yeah, we just worked on that and laid it together. And then we got these great singers in and and the rest is uh, what you hear. And uh, you heard it here first, Church Bruno. Yeah. And certainly um, when, you, when you hear the song, it's, it's truly amazing. And we could not be happier with the result. And what I think is so special is, uh, this will be a legacy. This will be part of the school's folklore for years to come. And it's just uh, an amazing sound that I know the community's gonna love.